Boom, boom. Oh, more people coming in. Well, this is really casual, although I am not having a glass of wine right now. <laughs> but, you, <laughs> but you're wearing pearls. <laughs> I, yeah, I got my pearls back. I, I left them at one of the Airbnbs on my way out to uh, Albuquerque, and they were very nice and found them and sent them back to me. Terry, hi, you're on mute. Uh-oh, Terry's further than California, I think. No, you're Northern California? Yeah, I'm in, in California, Bay Area. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So good. Well, good. I have a couple more people. Who else has um, went to IAPS? I know Terry and Mary, who's this year. All right. Good. So anyway, IAPS. This was my first time. I'd been waiting since about 2017 to get to IAPS. And I was just about to go the last time. And then we had COVID, da, da, da ever happens. And um, I went out, I ended up representing at the President's Forum, both APS, Appalachian Pastel Society, and Maine, because the presidents couldn't, couldn't make it. So that was very interesting. And I just kind of want to go through some presentations I put together. I take a lot of video. I started out doing a, like, here's my travel log and trying to make something go every day. And when I hit a certain spot in IAPS, they made a request that we pass everything, not everything, but things we were going to share that it would go through them first because they wanted to, of course, share the excitement of IAPS. And so I kind of backed off on that, but I do have a lot of videos that I've put together. I, let me think here, I'm going to spotlight myself. <laughs> here I am, because I wanna go over a few things. Now I have um, some information here and I am gonna send you these links, okay, mm -hmm. later on. So I followed Richard McKinley through his, these are my notes, but still, when he did the gallery talk, he walked through, he picked out some of the paintings and discussed them. I'll show you a little intro to that now, but I'm not gonna show you the whole thing. I have a full show where I walked through the show and just passed by all of the paintings, which you can also see on the IAPS website which is down here. Um, I did that and then I took a little video of the candy store as well, but I'm gonna show mm -hmm. you that one. I got some video of the Master Circle Awards as people were going up. I started taking pictures, but I was pretty far back, but I got a little idea of that. So if you wanna see some of the people that got those awards, they were more than normal because again of the delay of COVID. And uh, I think there were what, Terry, about 13, 15, how many um, got the master circle? Do you remember? Oh, um, boy, I would say more than that. I um, thought maybe 20 or something. I've got a picture yeah. of that. Yeah. Yeah. And then a number of um, eminent awards as well, which was wonderful. So exciting. And um, I'm going to start with my little, the first time I came back, when I first got back here, I... Um, I was just pumped. If, if you know me well, I got really excited out there. I was doing all sorts of volunteering and involved in a number of things. So just for fun, I am going to bum, 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 share my little, and I have a full video on this. So then I don't have to talk all night. <laughs> Terry Lynn, Traveling Artista. I'm back home in North Carolina after spending an amazing week in Albuquerque at the IAPS International Convention. This is a gathering of some of the best pastel artists in the world, of sharing of ideas and so much more. I drove going and coming about 34 100 miles, and I got to see a lot of this beautiful country of ours. I've traveled all through Europe and South America, but I haven't been west of Chicago before. I did it this time, 
And I drove not just for miles and miles, but for hours through Texas and Oklahoma and New Mexico. And it was flat, flat, just amazingly flat for somebody that's from the Northeast. The subtle changes in color and vegetation were amazing. It's like a tonalist painting. So subtle, so beautiful. I'm so glad I drove it. I'm not sure that I'm going to do that again, but it was a wonderful experience. When I got to Ajax, I got to meet some of the most amazing pastelists I have ever known. A lot of these I've come to know in the past couple of years since COVID on uh, Zoom, and to meet them in person was great. For instance, I met Steffi Clark, great friend. We met at the laundromat out there. It's a story. You'll have to ask one of us. It was really great. And I got to meet some of my long time <laughs> heroes, Sally Strand. I, I got to go on and on about the names, but I also got to see beautiful artworks. The show this year, the exhibit, and I'll put the link below to it, was astronomical. It was so varied and well curated and absolutely expressive and experimental in how people use pastels. You must go check out the show online. And there's always the candy store. The candy store at IAPS is where you can go and browse the manufacturers and the distributors of some of the best pastel supplies in the world. It was so much fun. I'm gonna do a future video about the things that I personally purchased. One of them was a Sennelier egg. Wait until I tell you about the egg. <laughs> now I'm home, I'm playing catch up. I'm gonna catch up on videos because I promised you one daily, but I got so caught up in the whole experience. I just didn't have time. Forgive me for that but I will catch you up now. Okay. That was just a little quick intro, then I can cover more without having to think a lot about it. I wanna show you, when I send you the links, this is what my YouTube channel looks like. So you won't see all of these. This is from my point of view, like you, I'm not sure if you'll see the um, um, patio one, but here's the Richard video following um this is going through the whole show and there's some other items there so i wanted to show you a quick view of that and now i learned this from terry where are they there they are you can see my picture yes yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so this is as i'm heading out going through Texas and Oklahoma and New Mexico. I'm from Maine, I'm from the Northeast, I've traveled. It was flat, it was just flat, flat. If you haven't been out there, it's amazing. It's not like flat for miles, it's flat for hours and hours and hours. Um, but it was fascinating and there's a lot of the windmills out there. And so because there was not for me, what I'm used to seeing a lot of different things, I got, noticing the very tiny changes in detail and color of the soils and the vegetation, very, very subtle. This, I, you know, you stop every now and then you get out and you do some stretches because you should do that. Basically little signs, but this is the one right here. I was not used to seeing. <laughs> Watch for snakes. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> when we, um, I got out there, I met a friend from Maine, Laura Beckering. And she and I were in Santa Fe for a few days. And this was near our Airbnb. It was the house outside. And they hadn't had rain for like weeks and weeks. And we got there and it started raining. And some of you might have seen our Airbnb host when she was playing with her rain stick back and forth. After that, it started raining and then it started pouring. And then there was hail. So I told her to put the stick away. It was getting a little crazy. <laughs> so, but the lighting in here, and I've already done a painting from this, not this one, but the lighting and how it changes with the storms behind it. She and I went up into the mountains on our way to Taos. We went hiking up in these high, dry mountains. Hey, Terry Lynn. Yeah. That, that photo, was that taken from the previous one? Yes. The, 
Yeah. Was that taken with your phone? Yes. Oh, that is something. That is gorgeous. Yeah, and I, ha I have an iPhone 8 Plus, and it's wow. getting old because it gets hot when I try to heat it up. But um, yeah, you can do cool things with your phone. The yeah. river down below there is um, the Rio Grande, but yeah. it's very high up north up north, you know, for that. Somebody put something in the chat. I'm not seeing the chat right now. While in Santa Fe, we went to the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum. We checked out about maybe going out to Ghost Ranch as well, but you needed weeks or months reservations ahead of time. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the adobe in this area. One thing about Santa Fe is how much adobe they use. Sorry, let me go back. Um, it seems to me like the town planners have agreed that you must, if you're going to do any reconstruction or remodeling, put adobe on the outside because the whole town is very unified with different subtle shades of adobe. I thought it was beautiful. Um, in the George O'Keefe Museum, she did have some pastels. I took a close up of one of her pastels. In case you didn't know about that. Coming back from Taos, we'd gone up to Taos, we came down the other side of the mountains. These are some of the hills from the fires. When we first got there, the fires were still going on. By the time the rain hit, when we went to Taos and came back again, they were out. But the devastation of acres and acres and acres of the mountains are just so hard to see. But in a sense, kind of beautiful too. This is that house again with the storm. You can see I kind of fell in love with it. I'm like, I've got all these resources to paint from. <laughs> now in Albuquerque, we went down to Albuquerque. This is the old town of Albuquerque, if you have not been there. And you can walk through this area. They've got a lot of little shops like this, wonderful little areas that um, I went out with Lynn Deffenbach from Australia and she and I sat here and we did sketches and painting when we had downtime. Nice restaurants. I mean, look at this, it's just mm. everywhere you look, there's a resource. Then to IAPS. So here it is, this is a registration desk. If you haven't been there before, you come in, you get registered, you get your tags, you get everything put together. Everyone's friendly. Everyone know who this is right here, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Richard McKinley. Um, first thing I did, I don't know if Gary's here tonight, but I dropped off Gary's painting and my painting. My painting's up behind me right now on the wall, but this was Gary Rupp's painting. Mm, beautiful. Yeah. And there's different times we have dinners together, you get talking to me. The most important thing of IAPS was the friendships and the relationships that I made. People I had kind of known or had just met online and getting to know them in person. This, I'm a member of Red Rock. Red Rock handed out these little red bracelets. I still have mine on because it doesn't get in the way. For Maine, we had, you know, lobster things up here. I'm not going to wear that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I loved those. I know. Did you? <laughs> yeah, they're oh, cute. Thanks. All three societies of uh, North Carolina had one table. It was nice. Here's Albert Handel going out to dinner with everyone. Terry, I think this was your workshop the first day. Oh, really? I think so. Because remember, they asked me to bring you alcohol for your room. So I was running errands for red and... Um, mm. You know, this might have been uh, somebody else uh, because my uh, tables were kept in the rows. And I remember um, oh, Diane Sanborn, she hmm. rearranged her tables. This, this, yeah, this is my, I was in, I'm, you can't see me on the far right. This is Diana Sanborn. Right, Mary, you were over way over in this area, right? Yeah, yeah. okay. Different, Aline, Aline Ordman, um, I roomed with her and stuff, great. She's setting up for her workshop. I'm just running through um, these photos quickly, just so you know, I don't want to bore you with a lot of details, but here was the president's forum. This was great. There were a number of presentations. Jimmy Wright of PSA came. He is now on the board of IAPS and Richard is on the board of PSA. So there's a good connection now between the two societies. 
Um, I understand, and I don't know, but it might have been a little falling out in years past, but they're both solid and together now. We had Mike Skalka, who is, um, he's on the subcommittee. Is This was a committee works to test yeah. products, especially chemical products and things and art supplies. That was his special area, the artist materials. Now they have tested oil, watercolor, acrylic, and now they've done the pastels. The companies that produce these supplies have to follow the standards for safety that this committee has come up with. Now they've been working on light fastness, but the companies do not have to follow those standards. They're not legally bound to do that. So the light fastness report, which will be coming out, the video that we was created during this meeting, that will be available to anyone. And well, you're all in IAPS because you're all in a, an association, but um, it's going to be up to us as the consumers to kind of pressure companies to be sure that our pastels are color fast. So I think with feedback that will come along. So that's what that presentation was. Harry, when will they formally publish that report? I do not know. I asked before I went and Red said, yes, it would be coming out, but I have not seen it yet. Okay. This is the, um, what do they call this one? The paint around? Yeah. Right? So yeah. each artist starts a painting. There's five artists up there. They start a painting. For seven minutes, they paint on it. It goes to the next person. They work on it for seven minutes. It's like a round robin of painting. And then the original artist ends up back with their painting. And it gets kind of crazy and kind of fun. And look, this is Nancy King Mertz right here. She's got her Chicago flag on. Over here is uh, Tony. And he, he just kept wiping his, you know, dusty hands on people. And it, it's people have a lot of fun at this. This is um, Sandra Burchell of the New Orleans Drawing Group. And she is on the paint off. She's just one example. There were so many of these things going on all around the area. I love the way she stands when she paints. It's just <laughs> power stance. It's just brilliant. Um, Fiesta night. I just took one picture, sorry. Um, to show how people, different societies being different things. This happened to be New Hampshire. So they've got their maple leaves. They had handouts. If you signed up that night, you'd go into a drawing for some pastels. All the societies. I found it very loud. <laughs> Did you find it loud? It gets very it was, loud, but a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, here's Terry. Here's our, our Terry. What This is um, Pierre, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. I can't, I can't remember his last name right now, but he was doing a live broadcast in the exhibit and he invited Richard and behind here, I don't know if you can see that or not. I can't see it because, but here's Colette, who is the judge of the show. And then he pulled in Terry. So he kept things very lively and moving along. And it was, a, it was a fun, he is the representative of Sennelier. And he was very proud. I pulled this in because I knew Terry would be here. But this is Terry, Terry's painting on the Sennelier box here. Oh, nice. Which is really nice. He was very proud of that. And I'm sure Terry was too. Well, and now we had seen each other in Paris just the week before. Oh, you had? Oh, yeah, that's right. You yeah. were in Paris yeah. the week before. Well, that was part of why he asked me to, to um, come into his thing. He is a character. He is. <laughs> Very outgoing, very nice guy. <laughs> um, different artists are doing their workshops. This was Lynn Aselta. We had Lynn down here a few years ago. Um, I did her techni technical work for her. Um, Susan Kuznitsky was doing demonstrations at the candy show. This is just a little hint of the buff um, you know, I'd get tired, the banquet. So this is the beginning of the awards and that's Richard, Wendy Caporal, um, 
was the keynote speaker. She did a wonderful job. It was very nice. Different people coming through. This is Ann Strutz. I just took a picture of her. So the master circle, you have Red back here, Red Weber, you've all heard of her. This, here it is. I haven't counted this up, but these were the new master circle people. Right. I'm not in there yet, but, <laughs> and I haven't found a picture of the eminence yet. Do you have one, Terry, by any chance? Yeah, but I was counting and uh, when it went away, I was already close to 20 at about halfway at it. Yeah. Rian uh, Giuliani. So anyway, yeah, so there were- um, There was a lot. Yeah. It was nice and very well deserved. Yeah. Um, I was just taking some pictures in the one on YouTube. I have all the videos and things that I took put together in one one long video so you can see that here's um sally strand this is when we started to get it together this is our aps group all right so here these are the ones that were there from appalachia pastel society members uh and then i just started running into people and i'm sorry my pictures in all of these because you know you just do that there's tony 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 um oh this bf yeah, BF, people that I had, I knew Laura before, Laura Pollock. People just do this. They're just having a crazy time. It's so much fun. This was, um, and I didn't understand, but the beginning, there's a pastel teachers group. It's international now, but we, I guess, were the first three. I knew I was in the first 10 or so, but I didn't know I was one of the first three of this group. This is one of my heroes, Sally Strand. I had her book from back in the 90s. <laughs> So that's why, and I did some technical work for her too. Um, Margaret Dyer, Terry Ford, Steffi Clark. This is Ellen Eagle of the Art Student League. I did her technology. We're in front of my painting. She was so nice and said something nice about it. This is the Giro people. And we found out that we have mutual friends in Montagnac in France. So I can't wait to get over there and visit. Wow. Then you go out to dinner with your friends. Um, Kay is new, she's from Alaska. So we have Alaska, Maine, uh, Australia, Vermont, North Carolina. These are the New, um, New Orleans folks. And the exhibit, the hall was set up, I thought, exquisitely. It was beautifully done on one area were the master level paintings because they were two different shows. And then the open show was on the other side. And here's just some sampling. This is Lynn's. Um, Karen Margulis, I thought was cool because it's different than what she normally does. Nancy King Mertz, Sally Strand. Corey Pitkin, wonderful. He was supposed to be teaching. He came down with COVID the night before mm -hmm. IAPS. Couldn't make it. Lisa Regulis, this is Jen Evenhoos. This mm -hmm. is, um, I've gone blank right now. Marla Baguetta. Marla. Yep, Marla Baguetta, thanks. One thing she <laughs> don't know, but I noticed she didn't, I asked her about this. She didn't have non-reflective glass because I had trouble getting a picture. There's my piece. Gary's piece, Susan Kuznetsky, Tara Will. So these are just some samplings. That's Olga Abramova. She couldn't make it. Of course, none of the Russians could come from Russia. Mm. So again, I'm running through these. You can go onto the IAPS website and see these close up. This is Daniel Keyes. Yes. When you get up close to that thing, it's unbelievable. It he, really he is. Got, he, got, he got best of show, right? Yes. Best of the open show, yes. Um, this area, this, you know, just put out candle, gorgeous, that, amazing. And there's Colette's. And this thing was huge. What do you say? Was it like four by four feet? Wow. Yeah, yeah. all those lines, yeah. Yeah, it was beautiful. And this is just another group of us. This is a patio group, but kind of sitting together. So that's a quick overview. Um, 
Oh, I wanted to show you the candy store, yes? Mm -hmm. That this is kind of crazy because I did it pretty quickly. They had a free moment and you aren't? My God, every time I went there, they were mobbed. I know. <laughs> well, then they did the drawing too. My understanding is that this was not as many merchants as normal, but it, there was still quite a bit. Yeah, Dakota wasn't there, Ludwig wasn't there. Yep. Um, Richardson was giving away, they gave away 10 regular size sticks and two fat sticks to everybody. They gave away 10, 10 half sticks. Say again, you broke up. 10 half sticks were free. 10, 10 of their half sticks, yeah. yeah. And then they introduced their big fat squares. Very nice. Oh, I got a couple of those. I was so happy. I'm going to grab them. So just kind of a fun little walkthrough for you. Yeah, and Roche wasn't there. Um, nope. Which is a shame. They were there. You don't know. Yeah. Uh, no, I just. Put up yeah, I'm sorry. You keep breaking up. <laughs> Why wasn't Terry Ludwig there? Um, I, I've heard rumors. I don't know the fact. But this was this was Richardson, and they had the best. They had the most um, individual sticks, so that's where I kind of kept heading. Yeah, it's a shame Sennelier didn't open their stock for open yeah. stock. It would have yeah. sold more. And Giro too, it was all by set. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, um, and this was my big buy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I picked red. I think it's the red that I wanted, but if you haven't seen this, oh good, I'm gonna pick it up now. Yeah. So it's like a, in French, it's the word that they call it is pebble. Um, very, very soft and wonderful. <laughs> so that is a quick run through because I didn't want to take all night, but. So we have three people here. We have Terry Ford, we have Mary, there you are, Mary Planting and myself who went. So if you have any questions or thoughts, please. What was the high point for you? For me, it was the people I met and just everyone is so supportive and wonderful. Um, I even got to talk to like Marla Baguetta and these people that, you know, they're just, everybody's down to earth and great. Terry, how about you, Terry and Mary? Oh, well, I agree completely. And I had just gotten back I had barely had two days between my month in France to going there. And, uh, you know, right after the workshop on Saturday, I ended up sitting down on my couch and I fell asleep for like a couple hours. And then the Sunday and Monday, yesterday, yeah, yesterday and the day before, I was so wiped out. And I thought it was delayed jet lag because I went from that trip to IAPS and it's exhilarating. And that's why I, I had my energy was good. And, you know, because it's so great. It's just so stimulating. And really the people are just the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mary? Um, well, definitely meeting everybody that you talk to, you've Zoomed with, you've emailed for years. Um, the last time I went was 2017. I was unable to go in 2019 because I went to Italy instead with Jeannie Rosia Smith. But um, it was just phenomenal. And for me personally, slash professionally, I had a couple of really wonderful breakthroughs. And I think that's because your resistance gets worn down because because in my case, I landed the Friday before I did 
Albuquerque and Ghost Ranch and Santa Fe. And then I painted four days straight. And I think that exhaustion and exhilaration, your resistance goes down and you take in more. And so I had a couple of very wonderful breakthroughs for myself that I'm still reeling from in a good way. <laughs> But it was really wonderful to meet everybody. And it kills me that the entire time I was living in Brevard and I was, you know, more actively involved with APS, I never got to meet any of you in person. Oh because it's kind of a heartbreaker. So I'm glad to at least be reconnecting over Zoom. It was nice to be there. Everything was tremendous everybody's down to earth everybody was having a good time everybody's supportive no negativity anywhere other than the elevator in the hotel <laughs> one, the other one has been broken for it seems like years um but beyond that everybody was laughing i have a question um is iaps every other year yes. I, i'm new i'm new to this so i was just wondering it's normally every other year, but with COVID, it was the third year. So instead of being on odd years now, it'll be on even years. And it's always in Albuquerque? Yes. It has been for a while, right, Terry? Now, I know um, one of our board members of Appalachian Pastoral Society has just received, can I say this? Chris, do you think I could say this? Nod, yes? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Will, yes. Um, yeah has just received notification that he has been in, you know, accepted into the master circle. And that is Gary Rupp oh, wow. painting I showed you. So we need to do a road trip, everybody out to IAPS the next time <laughs> to support Gary. <laughs> Gary yeah, he'll still be getting up on stage and getting his medallion. Yes. Which is, you know, it's a whole ceremony at the banquet. So yeah. nice. Needs the, he Terry needs the cheering crowd. Yeah. <laughs> Terry Lynn, do you know how many people were there? Ooh, no. Over 600. It's, okay. the largest, so, it's the largest group that that hotel has had since they reopened after COVID. Wow. Yeah, okay, because it, usually it was around six, 600. And this is the first year I haven't been in decade. <laughs> oh, I know. That's right, Kay. Yeah. That was, it's, it's really fun to see all the pictures. Thanks. So that's not big and that pages, much difference pages, than it we, normally is. Chris? I had heard some rumors that uh, um, ABS had, it, had its own table or something like that. No, in, the in three- In past years? Oh. North, North Carolina, all combined. No. Ah, okay. Yeah, all three societies from North Carolina were at one table. So I'm there running back and forth between Appalachian and Maine. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Can I ask about how many demos and workshops you get in while you're there? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I'm, I'm not one to answer. Uh, there's a number of them every day because I was doing a lot of the technology. I was helping Joe Baker with, you know, videography and stuff like that. Mary or Terry? They, they have a series of full day or two day workshops, pre-conference. I didn't get that. Some of them were that? two days, some of them were single days, but the workshops are typically a full day. And then there are two, two and a half hour demos um, throughout Thursday through Saturday. And Sunday um, is also usually a day of workshops. Were there any demos that day? Do you recall? I don't, I don't think so. And the uh -huh. demo, I think Friday, there were three sets of time slots for demos, like um, eight to 10, 10 to 12, two to four. I, I can't remember, but there were like three or four tracks, if you will. Yeah. I think there were like four demos starting th Thursday. Yeah. Then Friday and Saturday. I think there were four demos per day. Yeah. And, uh, Sunday, That's I know they had a lot more on Sunday than they usually do. Yeah, they had a number of one day workshops that they added. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I, let me I, see. I think they added a repeat of some of the workshops where they had so much demand. Yeah, for here's a list of the things that they, that they had each day. Yeah. So you had demos and workshops and a number of different things you could choose from. And then they added stuff at the last minute, like Tony Elaine wasn't on the schedule originally, and then he wound up giving a workshop, I think, on Saturday. Yep. So there's it, more, more there to choose from than you can possibly do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, how, how accessible are they, though? Can you get in easily, or is you really have to sign up early? You got to sign up early. It's competitive. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty competitive. That's partially why I volunteered. By volunteering, I got into some good ones, not for free, but for work, which was really right. nice. The yeah. workshops are the things that fill up the quickest because they are limited to 20 or 25 people. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you'll see that the workshops were pretty much all full very early on. And then the demos hold larger numbers of people. So those don't how, as quickly. Terry, how long were the workshops? Uh, the workshops were from uh, nine to four with an hour Whoa. lunch break. Yeah. Mm, just one workshop. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, well, I had I did a two day. Oh, okay. Shop. And then they had um, now on those on Tuesday and Wednesday, they had four two day workshops uh, going mm -hmm. you know, for those two full days. I'm not sure if they had any one day workshops on those days. I don't remember. Yeah. I was kind of hoping to get out and do some painting in the area because that was all new landscape for me. I did get to take a number of photos, as I said, to paint from, but I didn't get out and do any plein air stuff because I realized a couple of days in, I'm like, oh, I'm not getting outside. But my priority for being there was networking to, to meet the people that I wanted to meet. And I was constantly busy. I'm hoping that it, you know, it's a shame because it was perfect weather to go out plein air. It was full. <laughs> it wasn't a hundred degrees in the shade, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those of us who like that, but um, I'm hoping that in the next IAPS, they actually have a day that they set aside for that um, and take people to either Old Town or- Yeah, that's a good idea. Because I think that that would be really instructive for those of us, because we're all schlepping our gear out there anyway. Mm. You know, it's not like it would be an inconvenience. We're already pretty much prepared to do that. So, well, there were some groups that were going out quite a bit. Lisa Rogopoulos and her group were going out quite a bit up into mm -hmm. the mountains and stuff. But yeah, you pays your monies and you makes your choices. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed, oh, you do. Can I ask, uh, when is the next one? Is it 2024? This is uh, Karen Ritter. Sorry, my uh, I'm probably on your li participant list as a very odd looking thing. Yeah, but, um, your iPhone is cares. It, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is, yeah, because I have to do it for, uh, I'm kind of in transit here. Is is 2024 the next one? Yep. Yeah. So, and, and Albuquerque, yeah. Uh, yeah. the, the last one I went to, I really loved the uh, paint around and what and the paintings that they ended up with, uh, e you know, each one and, and the reaction of the original artist when they came back to the, um, it was great. So you had uh, um, Nancy King Mertz and Alan, Aaron. and who, how many, how many artists were up there? Those were two. Uh, five. Five. Do, do you remember the others? Yeah. Well, Tony was there. Tony. Elaine Hordman. Oh, Elaine. Oh, cool. Okay. I, I have the paintings of that somewhere. I don't know, but. Um, oh, it, it's, it's like to watch, that process, to watch that process, because somebody asked earlier, what's the highlight? And to me, that <laughs> when I went the last time, um, the I went the last Tony. one before this one. Um, it, it was it was it was just amazing to watch 
each artist bring something to that, uh, to, to what the artists before them had brought. I, I was amazed. I was just totally amazed and flabbergasted. Um, and they brought their own whatever inner thing to it. <laughs> uh, so, um, and, and you would not know that the original artist is in there. Um, uh. so, so it, it's kind of a fascinating um, transformation well, that takes place. But. Dear Karen, since we're talking about it, <clears throat> oh. I, did, I did find them. So this is one. Um, not to name them. I think, is it Aline that started this one? No. Uh, yeah. that was, no. It wasn't. Yeah. Andy this is the one that Tony started and Tony finished. And somewhere along the line, and I think it was Nancy King Mertz, put this sky bridge in Tony's yeah. painting. <laughs> 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 it just yeah. got kind of crazy on this one. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. in the ladder. In the ladder, right? It's just, yeah. And then he yeah. put the fireworks in at the end. I have no idea. It was just going crazy. <laughs> um, Aline's and how people worked around that. So they kind of stayed within the style of the person that started it. That was Aaron. It was pretty nice. Yep, Aaron. And this was Nancy's. Nancy. So my, so my how far friend, did they get? How did how far did the um, initial artist get in the painting? Actually, the first time through, they got quite a ways, right? Did we, who? I think it depended. Um, Aaron had pretty much the underpainting all blocked in before it moved on the others didn't get as far as Aaron he moved he moved fast but it was it like 15 minutes they give them no each one? seven seven oh my gosh Whoa. <laughs> all right yeah all right time flies <laughs> nervous breakdown time yeah but um, yeah, when you come back to the original that you started, it's it, it and you watch them how to anyway. Um, that I, I aside from the the show itself and the, and to see each artist's um, work, that to me was the most fascinating. Yes, I, I like meeting people, but um, from the sense of pastel doing pastel, I, I learned a lot from. Um, you know, it, it said to me that. You, you know, you don't, you don't have to worry. <laughs> Somebody else can come along and you know, change it you know, and see something completely different there. So um, it, 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 that was a surprise was me with, was working for um, with Ellen Eagle of again of the Art Student League of New York because she's an educator and she didn't do a demo and I somebody said oh she's not doing a demo I'm like I don't know because I didn't know her before this and she did a slideshow and uh, a talk about the history of pastels from way, way back. It was fascinating. It was beautifully done and, and just fascinating. Mm. So there's a variety of things going on. And the show, like I said, the show was exquisite. They had, I think, four different people walk through the show and talk about it. Uh, Colette did it, Richard. Right. Tony and I think there was another one. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. So it was interesting to kind of follow each of these people and hear their discussion of the paintings. Well, they, Carolyn, they all I have to uh, go because I have a five o'clock. Uh, thank you so much for uh, letting me attend. Thank you for coming, Terry. I it's really been... enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hi, Terry. She just did a dynamite demo for um, the other day. Yes. Yes. For, for us. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And the workshop. And a great workshop too. Yeah, she asked during that because we were talking about this, and and she asked if she could come. I'm like, sure. So it's great. Sure. Can I ask a question about what an approximate cost would be to go attend IAPS? Mm. Like how much should I be saving up if I want to go next time? Well, it depends on how many workshops you want to take. Okay. Because the workshops, you'll see, if you up to the IAPS convention page, you'll see what they charged. Okay. The, so it really depends on 
how many workshops you take versus how many demos you do versus how long you stay. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to stay in the uh, hotel or a if you're going to rent a car and do an Airbnb and walk or whatever. Siri is talking to me from my iPad. <laughs> um, I, I don't know exactly. That's a good question, Frankie. I, um, it's about 200, it's 195, or at least it was this year to register. And then you do have the workshops and demos and different ones are different prices. I circumvented that by volunteering, but, you know, I had the technical skills, so that's, but there's other ways to volunteer as well. Mm -hmm. And that can help you. Also, there was four of us that rented an Airbnb just a um, couple miles away. Mm -hmm. I happened to have my car, so we didn't have to really rent a car. Uh, that saved, by the time we got through, we were there seven days. Uh, my cost of the Airbnb was the same or just a little bit more than one night at the hotel. So wow. a lot depends on how you organize yourself right. and get going. So that's, that's a tricky thing to say. I would say, I mean, I kind of set aside around a, a couple thousand just to get started, but if you're going to stay at the hotel, it's going to be more. Okay. Got meals. They Meal. serve Breakfast, they serve free at IAPS. Um, it's a continental breakfast, but then you've got all your other meals. Mm -hmm. And if you want to go to the candy store, I'm sure. Oh, just, just <laughs> that. that's an addiction. <laughs> that's where I save most of my money for is the candy store. So I haven't even done my opened up my stuff yet. I wanted to like do a little video like, oh, here I am opening up my stuff. <laughs> It's going to be a surprise to me. It's been a, a few days now. <laughs> so, do you think they're they're stuck on Albuquerque? Because at one time they had a convention in Raleigh, but from what I understand, is that they're stuck in Albuquerque. Yeah, the Raleigh the Raleigh convention was very poorly attended and because it was so far. They, they didn't get a lot of the California people. Mm -hmm. so they yeah then they started in albuquerque and that's where they're going to be they're going to be somewhere central anyway you know yeah. if it's not albuquerque it'll be somewhere in the middle of the country like that and mm -hmm. and i think one consideration is that this hotel has really worked hard to keep the business um they yeah, like they it. plastic all over the carpeting they tolerate our spritzing pastel on <laughs> everything on doors oh that's cool yeah, you that's know very cool um you know they're very welcoming and plus you can walk into old town albuquerque literally yeah. you walk it's a block away and you're yeah. right on the planet. and so it's very convenient for going out to other restaurants and also it's just very picturesque for painting Mm -hmm. So they, the spouse could come too even though they don't they're not a pastel artist and have a good time yeah, yes. there is a, there's a cost for them. It's not the same as uh, participants. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they also have a lot of support from the New Mexico Pastel Society. Mm -hmm. And that might be a consideration. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and the artists in the local art supply store is also very good. Mm -hmm. And the airport's not far away. If you're going to fly in, it's... Uh, under 15 minutes drive. I think it started there because that's where Maggie lived, uh -huh. Maggie Price. Mm. And, you know, now Richard, of course, doesn't. Mm. <laughs> but, you know, there are still some, uh, quite a few people who do work at the convention who are uh, based in Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. Well, Albert's up in Santa Fe and he was offering tours of his studio. Yeah, <laughs> I missed that one. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I, I, I'm probably going back. I'm sure I am. I'm just, I was wonderful. I mean, I, I want to get my master's circle someday. It's going to be a while, but you know, there's things to kind of 
That's not the important thing to me though, it was the people. But um, I'm also a teacher, so I'm trying to hopefully get that going. And, but there's something for everyone there, it really is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's wonderful to spend an entire week completely indulged <laughs> in bell and art and new ideas and new techniques and new materials and um, indulging your passion for a whole week without interruption. Um, without anybody looking at you like you're nuts. Well, not too many people looking like <laughs> we're, we're all nuts. <laughs> but um, but in it, and it's a beautiful setting. I mean, the hotel was just renovated. They were in the middle of renovating the last floor of the hotel. So um, it's not the same old tired Hotel Albuquerque. They put in all new bathrooms and all of the rooms and updated everything. So, um, and the carpeting in the bedrooms is all gone now. So it's clean. Ah, nice. Instead of that icky old carpeting that used to be there, so. Yeah, I didn't experience that, so it was. You miss, you miss that, Terry Lynn. Yeah, I did. Too bad. Yeah. No, you're, yeah, you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, thank you for taking us along, Terry Lynn. This has been great. Yes, you're yeah, welcome. And I appreciate Mary and Terry getting involved too and talking. So save your money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do hope more people. I thought if we had more personal kind of report back, like what it was about, more people would be interested. And, you know, if you have any questions, of course, Kay's been a number of times. There's Mary, there's me, there's people in the society that have been. And we would love to encourage you to go to. One year we had, I don't know how many people, a big bunch of people mm. from APS who went. Um, most years it was just one or two of us. I think Zoe went a couple mm -hmm. years ago. Remember yeah. her talking about that? She, she went for a very short time. That, that was a year of fires. And um, I don't know how the hotel is now, but the hotel air conditioners um brought in air from the outside and she couldn't tolerate it so she left mm. she just i think she was there one day maybe oh. where mm. there were fires in arizona and, and that was that was really a downer because the whole city was full of smoke you know it was mm. you couldn't go yeah. outside and do much and this year the fires were further north like santa fe mm -hmm. taos up in yeah. that area so yeah. it was, was oh. different um, so anyway, if you have any questions, I'll send you the links that I put up, um, different shows, and that, that should help you sometime from time to time if you want to check it out. Now, are all these on your YouTube, all these movies? Most of them, yep. And then, but if I, when I send you the sheet, it'll just give you a direct link. It'll be easier to get there. Great. Oh, and while you're there, you can subscribe if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Terry Lynn. Thank you, Terry Lynn. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot. Coming. Yeah, it was great. Almost like we were there. there. <laughs> yeah, it was great. <laughs> yeah. I know I went rather quickly, but I hope it gives you just oh, a taste yeah. of it. So that's good. Oh, terrific. Thank you. All Thank right. You. Thanks, everyone. Have a great evening. Bye, -bye. Thank you. Bye, -bye. Hi, Bye, Mary. Good to see you. Good seeing you too. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Kate. Bye, Bye. Kate. I'm not going to see you when I get up to Maine, but I'm coming. To Maine. <laughs> you're, not, you're not coming this far, though. Huh? I might make it up to Searsport. I don't know if I'll get up your far or not, but yeah, Searsport is, yeah, that's near Belfast. I have no idea where that is. <laughs> <laughs> South of you, about uh, an hour and a half. Yeah. Okay. So maybe I might. Yeah. Okay. All right, everyone. Nice yeah. to see you. Thanks. Good to see bye you. Bye. Bye. bye.